What inspires me is the fact that when we decide that we want to do something here, we can do it um, in a way that other cities can't. And the proof of that is the public-private partnership that came in together when uh, our economy was in the basement. What gives me a little pause is that we have to do that around inclusion. And uh, despite a lot of efforts um, and a lot of good words, we're not doing it. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce with you not just a visionary, but a revolutionary in terms of this next generation economy, Mr. Jeremy Rifkin. GDP is slowing in every single country in the world today. The reason productivity has been declining for 20 years across this global economy. The result, unemployment is high everywhere, especially among the younger generation. And now this economic crisis has given rise to an even more profound environmental crisis. And the short and long of it is, we can't get enough of the sun's energy back off the planet. It's all being blocked by those global warming gases in the atmosphere. We need a new economic vision for the world that's compelling. We need a game plan for that vision that's deliverable in real time, in less than 30 years, everywhere, if we have any chance to beat this out so that we have a back and ask the question, how do the great economic paradigm shifts in history occur? Because if we know how they occur, we can get a road map here in Pittsburgh and everywhere else to chart a new journey quickly. We can have market reforms, labor reforms, fiscal reforms. We can have all sorts of new killer Silicon Valleys and promote entrepreneurialism. But if you're stuck in that second industrial revolution platform, a centralized telecommunication, fossil fuel, nuclear power, internal combustion, road, rail, water, air, no country in the world can get above the ceiling of about 20% aggregate efficiency, which is most of productivity. It's stalled. It's the platform. The communication internet today is converging in Europe and now in China, where I'm working, with a digitalized renewable energy internet and an automated GPS and soon driverless transport and logistics internet, road, rail, water, and air, to create three internets in one. This is a super internet to manage power and move economic life. Communication internet, renewable energy internet, automated driverless transport and logistics internet. How do you compete with that if you're still in fossil fuels and nuclear power? You have to change the platform. This plan takes us out of the second industrial revolution in three decades, increases productivity and reduces ecological footprint as well as marginal cost. Then if what we do create and produce across those value chains, if it's shared, share the vehicles, share the homes with couch surfing and Airbnb, share the toys and toy websites, then more of us are using less of the earth, we're redistributing it in a circular economy over and over and over again. It's ownership to access, it's markets to networks, it's consumerism to sustainability, it's high quality of life. And the kids are learning. That our, in, that our own individual well-being is intimately connected to our symbiotic relationships to all the other creatures and ecosystems that make up this biosphere. When we say indivisible, one for all, one indivisible, the pledge, it's indivisible, all right. It's the biosphere that's indivisible. And all of us depend on that biosphere and all the relationships within that biosphere for our well-being. This is a revolution in consciousness. Freedom, power, biosphere consciousness. Put this economic plan across the metropolitan region of Pittsburgh, flagship for the country. Show them what's possible. Bring the best scientific and engineering talent from around the world. Have it done. You have the same potential here as any other place, but don't keep producing little silo pilot projects. We're going to go to the abyss on having the bike path over here, and then we're going to put in the special lighting from Phillips over there. You have to integrate the whole thing over a period of time. Think of it as a massive construction site. Start tomorrow morning. We can do anything. We've shown it before. But, you know, if we don't, I mean, we're going to face some, some, some dark times. So all I can say is, you know, let's, let's stop patting ourselves on the back and let's get to work. I don't have anything to add to that. It's the best way to end the night. <laughs>